this video we're going to take a look at how to use the shared SSL on a Windows server. So let's go ahead and take a look at your parallels panel. Once you are logged in, search for the option labeled shared SSL. You will see a listing of all the domains on your server as well as subdomains. I'm going to choose this one to manage and click the manage link. Place a check mark where it says switch on shared SSL. A virtual directory name will be suggested for you based on the actual domain you're modifying. And I highly recommend you leave this as is. But you can change it to whatever you like as long as it's not already being used on the server. Next you will need to define which physical directory this virtual directory will point to. You also have the option to decide whether or not you wish to allow the website to be accessible only through secure connections or a mixture of both. We next press the OK button to continue. After a few seconds our settings are saved. And we can navigate to our new secured area by going to our domain with the HTTPS in the front followed by a slash and the virtual directory that you chose. In this case since I don't have any files on this particular physical directory I get a 404 page but as you can see everything is working perfectly fine and I am able to browse to this directory without any browser warnings. So congratulations you now know how to set up and make use of the shared SSL on a Windows shared server.